Hi, my name is George, and I'd like to share a project that I've been working on lately. This is the Timex Datalink USB watch. Basically, it's a wristwatch that you can hook up to the computer and load on programs or data of your choice. When I first heard about this, I thought that it would be a lot of fun to try it out, see what kind of program I could come up with that would be fun or useful, something that I would actually use on the watch. Now, the limitations of the hardware do make this pretty tough but it's a very convenient platform. The battery lasts for months with the display on, and the watch itself is small and rugged enough that you can leave it on your wrist most of the time and not have to worry about it. So even though it's a very limited piece of hardware, the fact that it's so convenient means that very simple programs can be really handy. So I thought about what I wanted to have for my first program for this watch. What I came up with was a countdown timer. Whenever I'm involved in some contest or something, and there's a deadline looming months away or whatever, I like to have a countdown timer to remind me that that deadline is coming up, and to remind me that the time is running out. So, I wrote this program and I call it T-, minus, like when there's a rocket launch and they say T-, minus whatever, and that's their countdown. So, that's the basic idea, and I'll show you what I came up with and how it works. I'll start by demonstrating how data is loaded onto the watch. The watch has a USB connector here. These four pins are grounded when the cable is not connected, but when the connector is attached, physically presses the pins into the watch circuit board, making a connection. The watch is detected it's connected to a USB host, so I'm going to send the data from the PC. The indicators on screen are showing the transmission and reception of data on the watch. This process usually takes a few minutes. Now that I've loaded a few events onto the watch, I can show you some of the other features of the application. First, to switch different, different events, turn the crown dial. When an event is being displayed, press the start button in order to see this display, T equals, showing the date and time at which the event occurs. In this case, 2011, April 22nd, at 12 noon. When an event is no longer needed, can be deleted by holding down the stop button for two seconds. When an event name is too wide to fit on the display, it will scroll once and then stop at the beginning of the message. To scroll it again, press the backlight button. When viewing the event in T equals mode, the name scrolls continuously. When an event is being displayed, the current time of day is shown in the top right of the display. I included this so that the watch could still be used as a timepiece, even if the application was left running for extended periods. This event occurs far enough into the future that the whole countdown can't be fit onto the display. In this case, there are four digits of days and two digits of hours, and so the seconds had to be omitted from the display. To create a new event, turn the crown dial until you reach the unused entries display, and then pull the crown dial out to create the event and enter edit mode. The first portion of edit mode is this calendar display, which is used to set the date of the event. This display was inspired by a popular calendar application written for the watch several years ago. When I first saw the calendar application, I was very impressed with its usage of the dot matrix LCD of the watch, and with how useful it could be despite its relative simplicity. When editing events, the mode button and the stop button are used to go to the next and previous field of the editor. The crown dial is used to change the values for the current field, and the start button is used to reset fields to a default value. In the case of the date editor, the start button resets the whole date to the current date.
In the case of the time editor, the start button resets the time to noon. In this case, I'm setting the event for the deadline of the Mech Arts Community 2012 Mecha Modeling Contest. Setting deadlines for events like these is one of the main reasons I wrote the application. So now I know that I have 166 days left in order to work on my entry for the contest. No doubt, over the course of the deadline period, I'll check back several times in order to see how much time is left. So, that's my watch and the program that I wrote for it. It's been a fun project. A whole lot to learn, a new API and an assembly language that I didn't know before. Um, been good times, but after a while working on this thing, I'm ready to move on to something else. The good news is I think it's pretty stable at this point, so I'm actually going to release it. So anybody who has one of these watches and wants to run my program can do so. I hope you've enjoyed my video, and thank you for watching. This is unfortunately a limitation of, of the size of the display on this watch. Oh, hell.